welcome to The Resilient Rainer, the premier podcast focused on mental performance for equestrians and improved horse show performance. Whether you're a rookie rainer or a seasoned competitor, this show is for riders who want to take their skills to the next level and achieve their full potential in the show ring. I'm Nicole Burnett, and I'm a master mindset coach who's obsessed with helping you achieve all those horse dreams you always thought were impossible. Join me each week to develop a show-ready mindset and gain the competitive edge you need to compete with confidence. Welcome back, friends. I'm your host, Nicole Burnett, and welcome to the Resilient Rainer Podcast. Thank you for being here today. Just a reminder that if you listen to this podcast and you get something out of it, please go ahead and leave a review. Just scroll down in that iTunes store, click review, hit five stars, and write a sentence or two about something that you've taken away from the podcast. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me to reach more people with the podcast and with this message. So for the podcast today, I wanted to share a story that I haven't shared on the podcast before and that I haven't thought about in a while, but it came up recently. And I think it's such a great, vivid reminder of why all of this matters, why it matters to master your mindset, why it matters that you are a calm, confident, capable rider. Why does it matter that you're focused, that you are resilient, that you are stable as a rider. You know, why can't we just rely on our horse for everything? And so let's rewind many years to whenever I first heard this. So for background, my sister is a singer professionally, and I grew up in a very musical household. That means I know what tuning forks are. If you don't know what tuning forks are, it's a little fork with two prongs. And you tap it on something, smack it on it, whatever, and it goes ding. And it releases a certain pitch. So imagine you have a little tuning fork in your hand and it's going, you know, you tap it on your coffee cup and it goes And there are all sorts of different pitches, all sorts of different forks that are tuned to different frequencies. Sounds are frequencies. So imagine that you have two of these and you tap one and it is vibrating at a certain frequency. It's making a certain noise going ding. I'm not a professional singer. I apologize. And then you have a second tuning fork, and it's a totally different frequency. It's going ding. So you have these two different tuning forks, two different pitches. They are creating different sounds. Well, if you have them going at the same time, that is unsustainable. It's not going to work. They are going to fight it out invisibly (laughs) and... Only one sound is going to be resulting. They will end up making the same noise. Let me give you another example. Let's say you're at home and you've had a fantastic day. You got a raise at work. You had the best ride ever on your horse. And you went to the salon and you have the bestest, most bouncy blowout ever. You're feeling fine. You're feeling good. In contrast, let's say your husband overslept, his alarm didn't go off, he didn't get to do his hair this morning, he got chewed out at work, and then on his way home, he got pulled over for speeding. He's having a terrible, terrible day. Well, when he walks through that door and the two of you are in the same home, it's not going to work for you guys to be at different emotional frequencies. Either you're going to end up being cranky like him or he is going to choose to be happy and joyful with you. But do you see what I'm saying? When you have these competing emotional states, 
it, it doesn't work. They are competing. Either he is going to join you at your emotional state or you're going to join him at his emotional state. Now that I've given you these vivid pictures of examples of this, let's apply it to your horse. Because the thing about horses is that horses are incredible emotional mirrors. And that means that when you head out to the barn and you're there, you want that connection. You want to feel that harmony every time you're with your horse, whether you're in the saddle or you're on the ground. I know you've seen glimpses of it and you've had moments where everything just clicked. But how do you make that your everyday reality? You can use the power of these emotional frequencies to make that your reality. This is where it gets really exciting because that kind of connection is not just a dream and it's totally within your reach. The key is learning how to tune for your horse and yourself, tune your frequency to understand and manage your own energy so that you're always sending out the right signals and then your horse can join you. When you are calm, when you're focused and present, your horse can mirror that too. They relax, they trust, they become more responsive to you, right? Horses are so incredibly sensitive. They pick up on your energy, your emotion, your intentions, and they mirror it right back at us. If you're ever stressed, you're anxious, you're distracted, your horse absolutely feels that, right? And they can start to think of it as vibrating at that same frequency. And that can lead to tension, resistance, or even fear. And I know this is challenging if you've had a bad day, or let's say you start a ride and then your horse is, maybe they're a little stiff, honestly, and they're having a really hard time bending to the left because they're so stiff on that right side. They're just physically having a hard time, but you're getting kind of frustrated. The ride isn't going the way you want. This is when you get to put this in action, okay? You get to say, what is the emotional state that I want to hold? What is the emotional state that I want to cultivate? How do I want this environment to be? How do I want our relationship to be? And then you get to choose to create that and hold that emotional frequency. Do you want to be calm, centered, relaxed, confident? If you want those things, even when, especially when your horse is having a hard time, because when you're working with your horse, they are having their own experience, right? Maybe they're gotten a tip with their stall mate. Maybe they're a little sore. Maybe they were really looking forward to that bottom piece of hay. Who knows? But you get to choose. Are you going to meet them where they're at? Are you going to, or are you going to create a negative emotional environment? Or are you going to create and hold a positive emotional environment where they can meet you? Okay. And this is so essential for every rider who wants to build a deep, meaningful connection with their horse. And this is so essential for every rider who wants to make amazing progress in their training and have some fire fun rides. Because if you and your horse are not on the same frequency, there's no way you're going to have as good of rides. So this concept of being on the same frequency and just holding space, holding that emotion is so key. And I know that this has given you some really good vivid imagery to think about. And I know that you're going to take this and think about it the next time you go pull your horse out of their stall. Okay. You're going to be a conscious creator of your emotional state. You're going to be a conscious creator of the vibe, the feeling, the frequency, and the emotion, whatever you want to call it. You're in charge of that. And you're in charge of holding that space, no matter what's going on for your horse. This will change so much for you in your riding, your training, your relationship with your horse. 
I can't wait to hear how this goes for you. Try it out. Send me a message about what it did for you. If one of the feelings and emotional states that you want to create is confidence to create that partnership and be a leader for your horse, I've got something for you. I have a free masterclass on how to create unshakable confidence as a rider and give you practical tools to start building your confidence today. Check the link in the show notes below for the link to join. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Your horse is so ready to tune in. Are you? Thank you so much for joining me today on the Resilient Rainer podcast. Remember, you and your horse are like those tuning forks. When you're in sync, amazing things happen. Until next time, friends, keep your mind clear, your energy positive, and your rides in harmony.